All right, so this is problem 6.4.33, and we are <clears throat> um, we are adding, and anytime we're adding, we need to identify the LCM, the common denominator, and, and then proceed from there. So in this problem, um, there's no factoring to be done in the denominator, so we can just go straight to identifying the LCM. And the LCM here is going to be x minus 4 and x plus 2, okay? Now this will be our common denominator, so we want our denominators to look like this when we get done with the problem, okay? Um, so we're going to compare, we're going to take a look at what we have and compare it to where we need to go, and whatever's missing is what we're going to multiply by. Okay, so this first fraction here in the denominator, it's missing the x plus 2. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the x plus 2. And the second fraction is missing the x minus 4. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the x minus 4. Okay. All right, so um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do this. So this first fraction here, we are multiplying by, and I'm going to do this in color so you can see what I'm doing here. We're multiplying by the x plus 2 over the x plus 2, and that's so that we can get this denominator to look like what we want, like our LCM, okay? All right, and then the second fraction, we are multiplying the top and the bottom by the x minus 4, because that's what it's missing when we compare. Now notice I'm not talking about the numerators. I'm not even thinking about the numerators at this point. We're only concerned with the denominator at this point. And once we get to this point and we have a common denominator, then we can bring our numerators together and then we'll start to think about the numerators. Okay? All right, so, so let's bring these together because we do have a common denominator. It is x plus 2 times x plus 2 plus x minus 4 times x minus 4. And that's all over our common denominator, x plus 2 and x minus 4. Okay, so at this point we switch our focus. So our focus so far has been on the denominator, getting a common denominator. We've done that. Now we're going to switch our focus to the numerator and simplify the numerator. And in order to do that in this problem, we would need to FOIL here and FOIL there and then collect like terms. Okay, so this is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 when I FOIL the first one. Foiling the second one is x squared minus 4x minus 4x and plus 16. And this is all over our LCM. <coughs> okay. So um, let's go ahead and collect like terms now. x squared and x squared is 2x squared. The 2x, the 2x, that's 4x. And then over here we have negative 8x when we collect those. So positive 4x, negative 8x is going to be a negative 4x. And then we have our plus 16. Oh, excuse me. A uh, like term with the 16 is the 4 there. So this is actually plus 20. Okay, that numerator definitely factors, so we need to factor that and see if we can get anything to cancel with the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull out a 2, and when we pull that out, we are left with x squared minus 2x and plus 10 over the x plus 2 and the x minus 4. <clears throat> now, let's see. Um, that will not factor in the numerator. It looks like it will with 5 and 3, but the signs won't work. And even if it did factor with a 5 and 3 for the 10, it won't cancel with either of these factors in the bottom. So um, this is our answer here. Now, I'm not exactly sure. You'd have to read the directions on my math lab um, whether they want you to enter this answer or whether it will also accept this answer. For me, on qu on exams, uh, either answer is fine. They're, they're the same thing, but my math lab is very particular about how the, ans the um, answers are entered, so you need to check on that. Okay, but that's it for this problem.